Hi everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build where we will be continuing the cottage craziness that my channel has become over the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Ever since Cottage Living came out, I just can't stop myself from building in this kind of British cottage style and I've been loving building and actually I've been meaning to do a converted barn for a while but all the other cottage craziness came first. So it's finally time to show you my converted barn. So this barn is basically an old British barn which is why the entrance is on the side rather than the front. I think for American barns it's more common to have the entrance at the front if I'm not mistaken but because I live in England and I am loving this British architecture style at the moment I wanted to stay true to that and create obviously a British barn conversion and what I was aiming for was a old British barn and what I was planning to do to make this barn look somewhat interesting is I wanted it to be an old classic exterior um, of like an old barn because you know normally they're just simple squares or rectangles <laughs> and I wanted it to look like it's been added to over the years. Um, it has a couple extensions, some are older, some are newer and then obviously the interior will be very very modern um, but a mo modern farmhouse style again and the interior I'm actually loving so much. I can't wait for you to see it um, because I went for a very very different colour scheme um, which I think is still very 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 cool and I want to experiment with it more often. But anyway, back to the exterior first and foremost. I used a barn door that comes with Snowy Escape. So in that pack, there's this big like two door barn looking door, which I've used before for garage purposes and stuff like that. And I think in this like dark medium brown, it's just the perfect swatch to make it look like a barn door more like a modern barn door but I think it's just I love it so much it was perfect um and I did actually make up my own barn door on the interior in one of the bedrooms but we'll get into that in a bit um first of all yes I started off with the windows being white but then the more I built I kind of realized that I wanted it to be like darker and like I said for the interior I went for a very different color scheme so I thought why not do the same for the exterior and kind of match them both. So I decided to go for dark brown windows and I also used a darker color swatch for the chimneys. And in general, I kept all the windows and doors brown, which I never, ever, ever do. And I actually really love how it turned out. Um, for the modern extension, I created my own kind of more modern farmhouse windows by using some simple um, one tile windows that are really modern and then I added some immaculate shelves to create like square looking windows and I think that is such a cool trick and so simple and it looks really really cool it transforms a window instantly and I believe for a modern farmhouse vibe that would be just the perfect style of a window and as for the exterior I went for a dark brown wood look for the interior so if you've seen my videos you know that I am usually not using dark brown I like mid dark brown but the really really dark brown scares me because I think in a lot of contexts it can look very old-fashioned and traditional which is like the opposite of what I really like in a in, in a style so um for this one, I was like, no, I'm going full dark, full rustic, full on barn, and I'm not regretting it. I'm actually really, really loving it. I think it looks so, so, so good. I combined it with blacks and whites. So by using some of the more modern colors, it kind of balances out the traditional vibe that the dark brown wood usually gives off. I've done a lot of dark color um, interiors in the past just because I really love darker and in darker interiors. Um, so I'm not like a stranger to dark interiors, um, which is why this one kind of really vibed with me so much. And I hope you guys like it. I mean, I really, really do. I added some beams as well to enhance like the rustic um, farmhouse style. And I used the beams from snowy escape again <laughs> in this really really cool wooden swatch which is like two colors two dark brown colors 
and it just you can see the veins in the wood and stuff like that it's one of the most beautiful wooden swatches i've ever seen and it actually really worked well in this build i think sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming because it's very you know out there and it it does catch your attention but i think as the beams and i used it also for some um poles and stuff like that i think it really really works well i tried to add beams in as many rooms as possible um the only annoying thing is when you're building um they are obviously always there so if you build with walls up like me um there's a simple trick to kind of overcome this problem problem by just simply building with the walls halfway down and then the beams are gone and you can just build from slightly above like I usually do but because I also wanted to see how it all looked like with the beams on I am building a lot from the actual like view of the interior like full-on sim view <laughs> um, which I usually used to from my tours that are always at the end of the videos um, but yeah I love the beams and I can't wait for you to see like the finished result together with the interior style and furnishings um, in the tour at the end so yeah I really hope you like this style um, and I really hope you enjoy this video um, if you do then please give it a big thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel if you're new around here also one thing that came in really handy which I've never ever ever used before is a pendant light from journey to bar 2 which I was very surprised by I mean I do love that pack for build and buy so I actually am not surprised that the um, furniture furniture that comes with it is really beautiful. But I never e ever even considered using any of these lights. I don't know why. Like there's one pendant light. There's uh, like so many lights that come with this pack. But one of the pendant lights that I'm using is perfect for this build. It has this really like rustic vibe um, with iron. In general, I tried to use a lot of dark metals and like brown metals as well. So it's like really tying in with the colorway of the entire build. And I used that one in almost every room after I saw it. I used it mostly for the uh, dining room because um, there's a bit of a loft situation above the dining room and um, I kind of wanted a big, big pendant to be hanging off from the ceiling um, there and that lamp was literally perfect for it and yeah, I, I'm loving it, genuinely loving it and I will be using that a lot more for farmhouses in the future. In general, this lot is a two bedroom, two bathroom and it's on a 40 by 30 lot in Henford and Bagley, which I've not ever built on before. So it's a new lot once again <laughs> and I'm making my way through all the new lots. But yeah, it's a two bed, two bath. There is an ensuite bathroom with the barn door that I created upstairs and then there's a separate bedroom and bathroom downstairs. So there's also an office. I love both of the bedrooms. I am feeling the dark brown wood. I, who would have thought that I would ever say that? But yeah, I'm loving the dark brown wood in case you haven't noticed. I've mentioned it like 50,000 times already, but you know. I am really proud, so <laughs> I really hope you like it as well. Um, and then in the bedroom that is upstairs, I created this barn door that I've been raving on about for so many times and never actually gone into detail. But I um, wanted to create like an open barn door look and I didn't really find any of the solutions that we currently have in game very good. Like there's a like somewhat barn door style in, in Island Living, but the swatches were horrible. <laughs> And it's just, it didn't, the look just wasn't right. So I decided to create my own barn door by using a simple door frame. And then I added some dog doors that come with cats and dogs because they were very much in that farmhousey style. Um, and they have that like wooden crossing in the front as well, which is very, very barn door-esque. And I placed two of those on the side of the door frame. Um, and it looks so, so cool. And I know it's not like the most beautiful barn door but I just enjoyed it a lot and it's always fun to come up with your own little bits and bobs. <laughs> For the exterior I did a lot of landscaping. Uh, there's a pond, there's a terrace at the back and stuff like that um, and there's also a chicken coop and an area where you can grow your crops and a lot of the landscaping of like mostly just putting down plants and doing terrain, terrain paint, terrain taint, terrain paint, I just cut out because like I said in my last video and the video before and the video before, I'm always using the same like seven plants that come with cottage living. I literally only use cottage living plants for these um, builds in Henford and Bagley because I want 
the landscaping to match the landscaping of the world so it doesn't look like out of place if you use plants from different packs or different worlds um so yeah i'm literally using the same fern the same flower the same bush all the time and i wanted to spare you having to look at that for hours and hours on end so a lot of that has been cut out guaranteed you're not missing anything because like i said it's mostly just the same repetitive landscaping um but yeah i'm afraid that is it for today's speed build i really hope you enjoyed it obviously the tour is still coming up so i really hope you'll like that and i really 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 urge you to watch it because it's so 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 nice to see the interior when it's like fully done fully furnished i don't know i find it really immersive to to create the tours and watch tours of other simmers and stuff like that but yeah i really hope you enjoyed that like i said do leave a like and also subscribe and i can't wait to see you again next week with another sims 4 speed build bye